Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on today's video, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below so you automatically enter into the guillots. So, this video, actually, last week, before we get onto the video, last week I got my tongue pierced and I also got my belly button pierced, but I'm going to like change a, pier a piercing, but because this is not my, sorry, my tripod just fell. Because my belly button's not healed yet, but my tongue's nearly healed and ready for a changement, we're changing my tongue ring. So I'm just drinking coffee. I shouldn't really be doing that before about to change the tongue ring. So I've got my tongue ring in this Coles Junior cup with some mouthwash in it. It's been in there for just over half just over an hour so it smells nice so I'll be getting it out and I'll be changing this so I'll be getting it out and I'll be laying it on because they give you this that's where I'll be laying my tongue ring on so it does and get re sterilized. Sorry, I have to drink a bit more of this coffee because I've got a dry mouth. So, this is the tongue ring that I got in now. It's a really long bar, as you can tell. It's just annoying me, so that's why I need to change. So, I'm going to get this out of the mouthwash. The only reason why I put it in the mouthwash is to sterilise it so it's safe to put into my mouth. Okay. So I've got it out of the mouthwash. I think I might dribble or I'm not too sure but let's take this one out and put that one in. So I'm actually going to already take, so it's already ready to go, the ball off. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's been a bit stubborn. At the moment, me trying to change it, and I've dribbled everywhere. I'll put the old bar ring back in. Because that's been a bit stubborn. Because I've never changed a tongue ring before, so... So I'm going to go change it in the bathroom and I'll be right back so I can actually change it. Okay, so I'm going to go to the bathroom, I'll change it and I'll come back for the intro. So you can see what my tongue ring looks like. Okay guys, so I'm back and I finally got it in. So this was the current bar that was in my tongue ring already. And I've lost the ball. <laughs> I lost the ball on the other end of it because it literally fell down the drain. So, yeah, this is the new tongue ring. So, I really like it. It's not as long as this one. So, it won't, it's not annoying me at the moment. It's actually quite perfect, actually. It's not annoying me. It's not rubbing on my teeth. I don't have to push it up and down. I, I quite like it, to be honest. So, yeah. Because my piercer said that they won't change it because they had downsides it and that. And it takes six weeks to heal and that. And I just didn't want to go through all that. Because what's the point of buying this downsize when you can buy your own jewellery and put it in yourself instead of paying money to get it downsized? So that's why I've done it. And I'm happy that I did. Got a nice blue tongue ring. And this, I'll show you the jewelry of the belly button. Because I brought a jewelry of the belly button cause, because because of the coronavirus. Everything's going into lockdown. Which means I can't go back to my pier to get my belly ring chain. So I might have to change it myself. And because I might have to change it myself, I brought a belly ring that I really, really like. And I thought it looked cute. It's this little belly ring right here. I'll show you the belly ring I've got in my belly button at the moment, but I want to show you this one first. I really like it because it's got green on the bottom of it and then it blends into a nice blue. And the same thing goes for the top as well. It blends in and then it goes into a nice blue. So, I really like that one. And now, I want to show you. Oh, I better put that back into that pack. Yeah. I'm going to throw this one out because I don't reckon I'll need it anymore. And I've lost the ball on the other end of it. So, hurrah, hurrah for me. I will make a video when I do change this because I, I got my belly button pierced the day before I got my tongue pierced. That was like a week ago. And tongues are really quick healing, so yeah. And also I'm sorry about the background now. I know it looks different. Cause I've moved house. I'm not telling you where, obviously, because I don't want people stalking me, but I'm just saying I've moved house and I'm in Redcliffe, but I'm not saying my street name or anything like that, I'm just saying I'm in Redcliffe. So yeah. Because I live with my fiance's parent grandparents because of home trouble and that so hmm but I'm happy so yeah I'm um, get my life on track I will film my life and that when I can give you guys updates but I really want to show you my belly ring so let's go so I'm back and I'm feeling my stomach because this is what my belly piercing looks like it's a nice blue belly piercing. I'm going to see if I can try to get it into the light. But it's a nice blue belly piercing. So, I really like the belly piercing. It's a nice blue one. It's not completely healed yet. Once it is healed, I will change the belly ring. So, yeah. So, I'm not going to bother pausing it again. There's no point. <laughs> So 
So I think that's all I've got for today's video. I really guys hope you guys like my new tongue ring. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, before I go, if you haven't already, please hit the like button if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. I won't be offended if you do. Also, smash, smash that subscribe button so you're automatically entered into the gillets. And turn the post notification bell button so you can post notifications whenever I post something. Bye.